Hey, Kim here from craftbuggy.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these reusable confetti snack bags. These are so much fun. You can make them in so many different ways, um, shapes, sizes. I'm going to be using Velcro to seal these bags, which is really simple. Um, I should have gotten the Velcro with the adhesive in it, although I had to put my own adhesive in there because I got the wrong kind. But as you can see, it worked out really well. I'll show you a, a couple different methods you can use to make these bags. Um, I'm gonna be sewing mine, but if you don't have a sewing machine, you can easily use, um, you could use parchment paper to line it and then you can iron it, you can use a hair straightener, or you can go on Amazon and buy one of these impulse sealers. I love these, they're only like 30 bucks and it just kind of gives you a nice crisp sealed edge along your um, project. That way you don't have to worry about clouding or anything with the hair straightener or the iron. So stay tuned and I will show you how to make these really fun bags. For these reusable confetti bags, you're gonna want two pieces of vinyl. So I'm gonna be using um, this iridescent vinyl and then the clear vinyl. You can use both clear or both iridescent, it doesn't matter. I just feel like whenever I'm showing you how I'm doing everything, it's easier if there's something that's that you can see that's not completely transparent. And so that's why I'm using this one here. I got both of these at Hobby Lobby. And then um, it doesn't matter how big you cut them, you just want both of these to be the same size. So this, um, these I believe are seven by 13. I also cut a piece of nine by 13 for a little bit bigger bag. And then, um, Whenever you're securing everything in place, I find that these wonder clips are so easy to use and they are a lifesaver. You can't really pin anything in place because the pins are going to create holes in your vinyl and it's going to be very obvious. And then you're going to want confetti of some kind. So I'm going to be using um, this mermaid confetti. And so there's like little mermaid tails and... Um, like stars and shells and all kinds of fun things in there. I don't know. I also might make a dinosaur one. So it just depends on how I'm feeling at the moment. And then you're going to want um, Velcro. So with the Velcro, I kind of made a mistake. I got the kind, I got this at Hobby Lobby and this one does not have the adhesive on the back. I'm telling you, the adhesive on the back makes a world of difference because obviously now you can see how like it slides around. It's kind of a pain. So I'm going to be using this double stick tape just to kind of hold it into place while I sew it down. Um, and then you're just going to need basic sewing supplies. But that is actually everything you're going to need. Let's go ahead. I'll show you how I'm going to get this process started. To start out, I just want to show you how I have everything lined up. So I have my iridescent side facing up because I want the iridescent to be the inside of the bag. I want the clear to be the outside of the bag. That way we can see the confetti a lot easier. And so I'm going to flip this over. And then I just want to sew one piece of the um, Velcro onto what's going to be the inside. So this is how it's going to, this is how it's going to be laid out. So you're going to have this kind of flap here and the Velcro is going to be right along here. And so what I want to go ahead and do is kind of line it up with the grid lines because you want your Velcro to be even. That way you're not seeing this kind of awkward crooked line. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and place my Velcro. I have the sticky tape on there already. And then what I wanna go ahead and do is take this to my sewing machine and just sew right along here. I just wanted to show you what this looks like sewn into place. So I already, I already clipped it on the ends here, but you can see that you have nice crisp edges. It's not connected to the outside vinyl. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just reattach these ends up here and then I like to get the second piece of velcro the second piece of velcro out of the way and so I'm just going to line up what I want is I want a two inch fold over here and so I just measure that out and then I place my clips roughly where they're going to want to have that fold line so what this is going to look like this is going to be folded over just like that you're going to have your second piece of velcro here and then this is going to fold over just like that and so I'll move this up so you can see it. Make sure the edges are flat. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and take my second piece of Velcro. It already has the tape on the back. And then I'm just going to line it up with this other piece of Velcro and stick it on there. And then I'm gonna create a seam. Okay, so before I take this to the sewing machine, I just wanna show you, I have this lined up just like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and create a seam right along here. And instead of how the top, we only did the iridescent side, we're gonna do both sides on this. So because this is gonna be the inside of the bag, it doesn't really matter. If it really bothers you, you can still just do the outer edge, but um, since it's the inside, I'm just gonna go ahead and sew both pieces together. I just wanted to show you what it looks like to have this completely sewn. You can see both the iridescent vinyl and the clear vinyl are completely sewn together by this, um, by this, uh, Velcro. I keep wanting to call it vinyl. Um, and so now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to create a seam right along three edges. So I'm going to do here, here, and then here. And then I'm going to leave this end open. That way I can place the confetti. So I'm going to go ahead, take this to my sewing machine, and then I'll show you what we're going to do after this. Now that I have my edges sewn together, I still have this opening. Um, you can see that my hand goes all the way through except for to this piece of Velcro here, which is fine because um, the lip is gonna cover that anyway. And so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just fill this with confetti and then just fill until you're happy. And then whenever you're done, um, you'll go ahead and you'll take it to your sewing machine and you can seal this top or I'll show you what we can do instead. At this point, you have a couple options. So you could just seal the top of this and call it good. Or what I like to do is I like to um, just kind of fold this over just like this and then make sure the Velcro would line up appropriately. And then um, I like to just create a finishing seam just to make the bag form itself. And so I'm just gonna create a seam from here to here and then here to here. So far, this is what the bag should look like. <clears throat> so you can see that you can open it. Um, so now what I like to do is um, you could just create a seam now right along here and then it's done. What I like to do though is create one seam right along here obviously not included with this part, but just right along here, end to end. And then I'm gonna fill this part with more confetti and then place one more um, finishing seam right along the edge. Now you can see the bag is complete. I just love how this turned out. It went, and it was so simple. So you can see you just open the Velcro. And this is why I like to create this line here is just because it kind of makes sure that you have some confetti here just to keep that um, seam with that Velcro completely covered. And so I just love how this turned out and you can see it's washable because it's vinyl. Um, you can just wipe it down really easily. You could also personalize it if you have a Cricut or a Silhouette machine. It's just so many fun options. I love these. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to comment below. I will get back to you. I love how these turned out. I ended up making a dinosaur bag. This was actually my first bag that I made. I'm not a huge fan because the Velcro is a smaller piece of Velcro. And I just feel like with this bigger piece, it's it just kind of holds everything in there a little bit better um so if you have smaller things that you want to put in the bag it just kind of holds everything better but you live and you learn um i had a lot of fun making these bags if you end up making these i would love to see what you come up with feel free to tag me on social media i have the link that all the links in the description below. Also, if you wanted more step-by-step -step and more tips and tricks on how to create these bags, feel free to go to my blog. I'll have that in the description as well. I also have a bunch of other craft ideas. I have some confetti placemats that are very similar to this and they're a lot of fun. So check out my blog for that. And if you like this video, you wanna see more, go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like button and I look forward to seeing you for the next video.